Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you three instrument grasps used in periodontics. First, let us start with a modified pen grasp, which is considered as gold standard in periodontics. So for this, functional fingers are thumb, index and middle finger. Ring finger is acting like a rest that is supporting your hand on the tooth or the oral structure. The little fingers stay relaxed and is in neutral position. Now, place the pads of thumb and index finger near the junction of handle and the shank of the instrument. Notice that my finger pads are facing each other and you will also notice a small gap present between two fingers. Through that gap, you can see the instrument. Thumb and index fingers should not touch each other and always fold the index finger at the second joint. So check the knuckles, they should curve outward and they should not collapse inward. So this will help the fingers to rest comfortably on the handle. Next, the middle finger, the side of the middle finger pad should rest lightly on the shank. Notice I'm not holding the instrument with it, I'm just resting it. The ring finger rests on the tooth, providing the support and balance for my hand and the instrument. See how it acts like a stabilizer. The little finger stays relaxed close to the ring finger. Now let's look at the standard pen grasp. Here it is very similar to the modified pen grasp and the thumb, index and middle fingers hold the instrument. However, notice the placement of the middle finger here. The side of the middle finger is resting on the shank. It is not optimized for tripod effect. But whereas for modified pen grasp, the side of the middle finger pad is resting on the shank. In ultrasonic instruments, light standard pen grasp is used. And there is another type of grasp which is known as palm and thumb grasp. So this grasp is mainly used for instrument stabilization during sharpening or handling airway syringes. Notice how this grip limits rolling and tactile sensitivity, which makes it unsuitable for scaling. Remember, palm and thumb grasp is for stabilization only, not for intraoral periodontal procedures. Hope this step-by-step -step demonstration help you to understand how to hold your instruments properly.